Oh, hi, babes. Hi, sugar tits. You know what is so deliciously hot to me? Dressing up like a nun and spanking me for being a naughty, naughty boy. I'm with a person I like, and there's a little bit of sexual tension, and then they lean over and they're like, can I kiss you? Whoa now, that's some kinky shit. I don't know if I can get into that. Maybe if we get to use safe words. <laughs> I don't make that sound. Usually. <laughs> oh look, a trigger warning. You feminists are serious about trigger warnings, aren't you? Why is it so sexy? Because they asked for consent if it was okay, which shows one, that they respect me, and two, that they've got some basic sexual communication down. Asking for permission to kiss a girl is not sexy. Girls want to be taken, swept away by the moment, caving into their animalistic demands. They don't want to be asked for permission. Only a spineless loser is on a date with a chick, and then is like, uh, Cindy, like, we've been going steady for a week now, and I was thinking, like, maybe if you're okay with it, if I could kiss you, guys, at this point, you done fucked up, she'll never fuck you, and that's a promise. I knew this guy in high school who tried that shit, not only did she say no, but she told him she had to use the bathroom. She got up from the movie theater to use the bathroom and never came back. He went to school the next day, and every girl was laughing at him. They laughed. They teased him. They called him names like Ask Kisser, instead of Ask Kisser, and his new name around town was Cory McAsk Kisser. He eventually committed suicide, and none of us blamed him. It's not like he could get up and go to a new school. After all, there is a database on guys who ask for permission to kiss. It's www.guysthataskgirlsforconsenttokiss.com. Once a guy finds himself on that database, it's all over. According to the DOJ men on that website are seven times less likely to get laid than convicted sex offenders. Even the artist formerly known as Snake Pliskinist knows not to ask permission to kiss a woman. Now, I don't know a lot about women. I'm not a player. Fuck, I don't even play Yahtzee. But... If I do know one thing about women, and I probably do only know one thing about women, it is that if you do that, ask for permission for a kiss, you will die a virgin. Guaranteed. It's true. He knows nothing about women. He one time got oral confused with nasal and kept trying to fuck a bitch in the nose. He knows nothing. Except that one thing. Do not ask permission for a kiss. But consent isn't just hot, it's also mandatory. Sexual contact without consent is assault or rape. But here's the thing, people often think of sexual coercion as something that's, you know, violent or physically restraining. In reality, sexual coercion is often much more subtle. It happens between two people who know and maybe even trust each other. The perpetrator will use pressure, manipulation, drugs, alcohol. Cleavage, sexy dancing, suggestive language, and so on. I hear ya and forced to initiate sexual contact without permission. And worse, in the real world, sexual coercion is often seen as acceptable. You know, like pushing someone over and over and over after they've said no, or throwing yourself on someone without warning. So stage divers at rock concerts are rapists? What about pro wrestlers? Ultimate warrior my ass, more like the ultimate rapist, throwing himself on others without asking permission was his signature move, and to think the WWE actually televised this man throwing himself on others without warning, they totally condoned it, wait, I get it now, that's what feminists mean by rape culture, when the definition of rape includes everything, we find that society condones rape, I understand now. Because it's romantic? No, that shit's not romantic. It's just creepy and salty and rapey. So can people just, can you not, can you not do that? Do not body splash this bitch. Please. Are you enjoying yourself? I sure am. Sugar tits. How's that feel? Feels wonderful. Do you like that? Do you want me to keep going? I want you to use your mouth for something other than talking. I'll let you know if I want you to stop. You look uncomfortable, are you okay? I'm fine, I just want you to shut up. I get why God gave women mouths, I just don't know why he gave them vocal cords. How far do you want to go? Can I put a power drill in your ass, and turn it to maximum? Uh, uh, not really. Oh come on, you'll like it. Mm -mm, nope. Come on, I thought you liked me, I promise you'll like it. You know what, I have an idea. 
Now give me a nice clear no if you don't want me to put a power drill in your ass. I hear something, it sounds like Kenny from South Park, but I don't hear a no. Alright now just bend over while I turn it on. There, that wasn't so bad, see how fun things can be if you just shut up and stop being such a prude, I thought you were sex positive, what's with all the prerequisites to good hard fucking, like Nike says, just do it. Good consent is basically just checking in, it's paying attention to someone's body language, how they're doing, it's keeping those lines of communication open so that everyone's on the same page and everyone feels safe and comfortable, which means this is not how you ask for consent. Mm -mm. Nope. Come on, I thought you liked me. I promise you'll like it. That's what that overzealous vacuum cleaner salesman said that pushed and pushed and pressured me into buying something. Wait a minute. If pressuring someone into sex by constantly asking is considered rape, then is a salesman constantly insisting you buy their product considered theft? Just do it for me. What's the big deal? We've had sex before. And I'm so horny right now. You liked it last weekend. I was drunk and had just bought a new power drill. Douchebag alert! Also, potential rapist alert. Rapists often see sex as something that's owed to them. You know, that's what I thought too, but I was looking up the difference between no fault divorce and fault divorce, and under fault divorce, meaning someone did wrong, which makes their wrongful actions grounds for divorce. This legal advice website listed impotence under fault divorce. Right here, impotence, so apparently women think once they marry a man, they have entitlement to his dick, that sex is owed to her, I mean, even if the man is willing to go down on her, that's not enough, he has to be able to physically get an erection, that's just how much women think men owe them sex, it's a good thing you bring this up lacy, e? women and their entitlements, I swear, ladies, us men do not owe you sex. Sex is never something that's owed to someone. Doesn't matter if you've been flirting, if you've hooked up before, if they bought you dinner, not even if you're naked. Pushing someone until they finally give in is not consent because you're basically not giving the option to say no. So how can you know if someone is consenting once you ask? Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that feels so good. Touch my body Mm-hmm, keep going. I'm down for anything in these areas, but not these areas. Wait wait, you'd let a man touch your chest area but not your pussy area, well, I think you just blew it with the guy, because sex typically involves that lower area, if a man can't get that lower area, he's not exactly getting what he needs, Lacey, you do know how sex works don't you? These areas, yeah right there. Are you pointing to your right knee, what the fuck is it with you people, snake please skinless trying to fuck a bitch in the nose, you wanting him to fuck your knee, this, people is why we need sex education. Yeah, right there. Why, yes, I would like that. Notice how consent is a clear yes. It's enthusiastic. I want it. It's out loud and there's no doubt in your mind. And remember, consent can always be retracted. So if you feel like the vibes have kind of changed or you're unsure, getting mixed signals, you want to check in. This is what no might sound like. I don't like that. Can you stop? Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Can we slow down for a second? I'm not into this anymore. I guess if you want me to. Please don't. I'm not into this anymore, you tell that to a guy, you will break his heart, crush his self esteem, and he is never dating you again, anyhow, let's go over that list again. This is what no might sound like. I don't like that, can you stop? Not in the nose. I'm not ready for this, can we slow down for a second? I'm not into this anymore, I guess, if you want me to. Wait, that is consent, saying I guess, if you want me to, is confirmation that it is okay to proceed, your attitude may indicate to people who are less than autistic that you're not happy about it, but that you are making this sacrifice for him, a bit like when a husband goes to his mother-in-law's house, a thing he does not want to do, but does it anyway to make his wife happy, saying I guess, if you want me to, actually is giving affirmation, permission, consent. Please don't. Wait, I know that look, that's not a look that says I don't want to have sex, that's a look that says God, I have such horrible gas. I got to fart so bad, I have to clinch my butt cheeks and hope it doesn't slip. Oh if only I could get to the bathroom or another room and let it out, Lacey, hun, 
we're both mature adults, if you got gas, we don't have to stop having sex, just let it out, it's natural. See, that wasn't so bad. Oh my. Good lord woman. Okay, tip for the guys in my audience, if your woman ever gives you that look, no matter what she does or doesn't say, no sex, just get up and run, excuse yourself from the house for about a half hour. Just because someone doesn't say no doesn't mean they're saying yes, they might feel uncomfortable or guilty or not know how to say it. Not know how to say no? Look guys, if you're dating a bitch that is so stupid she doesn't know how to say no don't put that power drill in my ass. You seriously need to aim higher. So that is why it's really important to hear that verbal out loud yes. And if they're being quiet, ask them, hey, how you doing? What's up? How's it going? Everything okay? And that, my dears, basically in a nutshell, is how you practice good consent. So now I want to talk about some situations where consent cannot happen, even with a verbal yes. Sometimes people get drunk, you may have learned this about the world. When it comes to sex, a little bit of alcohol isn't a big deal. But if they're too drunk to drive, they're too drunk to give consent, period. Getting sexual with someone who's wasted, slurring their words, their body's limp, they can't communicate clearly, maybe they're throwing up, that's absolutely sexual assault. Let's all do the right thing and take care of them, not take advantage of them. Sometimes when I'm at schools, people ask me, well, what if they're both really, really drunk? It's pretty simple. Sex is an active thing. It requires the intentional action of at least one party to get it done. Remember but if they are both drunk, and there is one person with an intention, which one was it? If both give consent, but one of them could not consent, and the other had a deliberate intention when giving consent, then who is who? Oh, I see one party to get it done, while you demonstrate with your hands a penis penetrating a vagina, the penetration is the active, and alluding to intent, very clever my little sociopath. Remember sex isn't something that happens to someone, it's something that happens together, both people participating, like this, kind of. That's not how humans have sex, that's more like what it looks like when tarantulas have sex. That's exactly what that looks like, damn it Lacey. What species are you? You're not an arachnid. No wonder you're telling a man to fuck you and pointing to your knee. Gentlemen, this next thing she says is so stupid, I am going to screen cap it to show you that the jump cuts are hers, and not me quote mining her. You can watch the progress bar to see I am not chopping the video, and I say this, because the thing she is about to say is so fucking stupid beyond all belief, no one would believe she actually said it some red flags. This ties in with situation number three. You hold authority over them. You can't get consent from someone who you have power over. So I'm talking about things like teachers and doctors, therapists, coaches, priests, caregivers, famous actors, maybe even famous YouTubers with their fans. When one party depends on the other, when they trust them, rely on them, when they idolize them, it severely impairs their ability to consent. Why? Power dynamics like these come with strong underlying vulnerabilities, which can give the appearance of consensual sex when it's actually exploitative. You know she said it. She actually just said the thing she said. So all famous people that has had sex with non-famous people are rapists. So we should lock up every rock star, rapper, and country singer, and famous actor, for rape, popular YouTubers, and who knows, maybe even bloggers, cannot have sex with people who are fans because it would be rape. This entire video has been about how sex is wonderful, if occurring under a ridiculously strict set of circumstances, any deviation and its rape. This is why no one outside of the hate movement called feminism, can take this notion of rape culture seriously. Feminists call everything rape, and when you deny that everything is rape, well, that's a part of rape culture. If you have sex with a famous person, due to the dynamic, you are being exploited, thus your consent is invalid, thus you are a rape victim. If you disagree, that's rape culture. Anyhow, I left a comment on her video and got into a debate with some of her fans, you're free to read over that comment thread on her video, you know, it's not that Lacey says this type of incredibly stupid shit, it's that 15,294 feminists agree.